we just got done eating breakfast real quick and uh, got word that our big commercial property that we actually salted yesterday just uh, finished up a brand new parking spot. And from what we're being told, it's what, TQ? It's big. It's pretty big. It's big. And it's all gravel and it's brand spanking new and it just literally got opened up today. So we, uh, we got to go out here and check this bad boy out, TQ. From what I'm hearing, we might need more salt. Yeah. <laughs> it's going to be crazy. All right, guys. So still working on some maintenance stuff here. We're uh, doing everything we can to be ready. As you can see, the snow has kind of uh, started. But before it gets going too bad here, I want to see about one more thing. I'm not sure if it'll work or not. I'm kind of 50-50 I'm whether it'll fit or not. So I want to see if we can get the skid loader into the shed now that we got some room. So you want to hold this, TQ? Yeah. It's gonna be real close. Real, real close. <laughs> Careful climbing on there. Yep. It's not a toy. No. You know? I'm gonna see if I need to hit those glow plugs or not. Might just start. Almost. That was barely. So, I'm happy with that. Yeah, all we had to do is just hold up on that the door just a little bit. I bet I can chain or uh, put some tension on that so it'll hold it up a little higher so we won't have to do that. But, uh, man, snug like a bug yeah, and it a is. rug like a mug. <laughs> <laughs> That's good, though. We can actually fit it in here and keep it out of the weather for now, so... 
Heck yeah. I, I honestly, I'm like, I don't think it's going to fit by like a half an inch. Because I was out here the other day with the tape measure, and I was measuring. I'm like. It looked it looked going down because it, it does slope down into the doorway. Yeah. So once you get down into the doorway, it clears it pretty good. Well, when I measured too, I think I just went to the door. So I was like, man, it's, I knew I could move it, but I'm going to lock this up. Enough chit chat. <laughs> That's awesome. I'll be right back. Good morning, everyone. How are you morning. doing on this beautiful Sunday evening? It is beautiful. The sun is shining. It's kind of like the calm the before the storm. storm. <laughs> <laughs> Our numbers are still going up, guys. They're holding steady. So uh, it does look like this is going to be a pretty darn good one. So as of right now, Absolutely. they're saying we could get a foot. So yeah. Lots of work. Yeah, we Lots got. Lots of work ahead of us. We got a lot of work to get ready for a lot of work but uh we're ready yeah we are. we'll uh we'll handle it like we always do as long as everything kind of uh holds together yeah first step fuel fuel it's kind <laughs> of important all right so i still had about a quarter tank in the 22 still took 72 bucks all right we got this one done here 85.50 all right guys so we're back out here they got the machines moved out of our way so we got this all pre-salted yeah buddy looks like they're making pretty good progress though they had a huge hole here not too long ago i'm assuming probably for drainage and everything so we got that bay done those bay done oh that bay done so we got to hit these ones there's one more back here and then we got to actually go on around back so they put in a new parking lot uh, out back here it's all gravel for now but we got to actually walk back here now that we have access to look at it it's brand spanking new uh, but first we're going to get these done so tq is going to take care of it miley's going to pay attention learn a little something today so when we go down into bays we like to salt going down because then it gives the truck some traction coming back up if it is an icy situation. Brand spanking new gravel parking lot they just put in. Yeah. It's gonna be crazy. All right, guys, so we're back here to where the construction's going on. And simply, they put a ton of money into this. And I really don't wanna mess it up too bad with the plow. So, uh, if you guys remember, we typically mow this whole entire field all the way down, all the way across here. Well, now it's all parking lot and it's gonna be the new exit going out to typically over way over there where that portage on is where we park at. So I uh, figure I'll show you guys this real quick. Sweet machine. Yeah, so they're getting all the drains put in and uh, yeah, that's gonna be crazy. Wow. Right. Nice. This is, uh, this is not gonna be real fun here though. Only because it's brand spanking new. It is packed down, but it's pretty much going to be inevitable. They just put brand new drains in as well. Another one down there, I see. This is going to be a tough one. This is where you keep the plow up just a little off the ground so you're not digging into the, the new gravel. Right. So Sean just got off of the phone with the person in charge, and they said, go ahead and salt it and plow it whenever the snow comes. So he's going to take care of that. Now that we know this will be made into a concrete parking lot, blacktop parking lot, something like that, 
I'm not so much worried about any kind of breakdown from the salt. What I am hoping for here is we get this first layer of salt down here. So when the snow starts here in a little bit today, it will melt off and then freeze. And it'll basically turn this into almost like an ice skating ring for us to plow because the snow is going to be the big part once it starts hitting those six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twelve inch, 12 inch mark. So let's get to it. Not too sure who he's talking to. My eyes are watering from the cold air blowing into them. Sorry. They <laughs> say lay salt on the gravel. They lay, we lay salt on the gravel. <laughs> All right, guys. So typically, especially brand new gravel here, you, you know, you wouldn't want to put salt on it. It is going to uh, have a little bit of breakdown. But also, this is a brand new driveway here for the employees to exit. Parking lot back here. Why construction is going on. And then uh, I'm sure this will all be concreted or black topped at some point. But, uh, you know, we just got to do what we got to do to get through this winter. Got to get the plows on the trucks. So let's hop to it. Teddy, you going to do this for me, bud? Come here, bud. What my buddy doing, huh? Teddy. Hi, Teddy. You need a haircut, huh? Hi, Teddy. Where's Nala at? She eating eggs? Huh? Is she eating eggs? Probably. Hi, Probably, TQ. Probably. There she is. She's a little egg scavenger. Oh guys, so took a little bit longer than typical. Uh, had a little bit of ice. I didn't realize whenever we stored it over here, one of the caps came off and uh, we had ice inside of the one of the small ones, the little small plug-ins. So I couldn't get the uh, cap to go in. So we put a little heat on it, put a little heat on it and it opened back up. Check the lights. Good. Musical trucks and trailers.
out of power. lot of freaking work to get set up huh yeah it is not every storm will be this big but this one looks like we might need all the toys so we're uh gonna put them through their paces when it gets here I'm so excited to bust them out yeah exactly my neighbor's actually over there laying salt all over his driveway by hand so i'm gonna drive over there real quick and offer to dump some salt for him on his blacktop over there i'm also gonna dump it on my driveway i got calcium up here uh just basically to put that layer in between the the ice when it starts it's going to be starting here within the next few hours good job tq i think we're all ready but a couple more little things i'm going to do real quick we gotta shut some lights off too in the cars the truck. yeah went ahead and stuck the strobe up on the metal of the salt plow and it actually stays there with the magnets there is zero so i know somebody commented and said hey i think there's metal poles underneath the aluminum on top of the cab you can get it to stick to guys i tried to get everything on top of there on top of the truck to uh stick to something metal there is zero up there that is still that that light will uh adhere to but it will stay right there on the salt spreader so uh it's just going to be something for now like i told you guys in yesterday's video we did order a light they just said you know it's going to be like three weeks or so before we get it so this one will have to do so I just got done throwing calcium out on my own driveway. I wanted to say, make sure all of you guys and gals out there fighting this storm tonight, tomorrow, however long this storm lasts in your area, make sure you're being safe. Slow down, take your time. Let's all get through it. We'll all be okay. As always, guys, keep mowing, keep growing, keep making money, boys. And as always, keep plowing, keep salting.
Keep making money, boys. We'll talk to you later. Teach you up. Peace. Time to rest up for a bit. Bye.